Hey guys, my name's Carl Cunard and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my new crib. Come on in. Right, let's get kickstarted. So, moving on to this little area here. As you can see, it's a TV, pretty standard in a flat. Um, most of the furniture in the flat I've just got from Ikea. I'm not really bothered about having all fancy furniture and stuff. And as you can see, everything's quite white. Me being an Instagrammer, I kind of went for the Scandinavian design because I just wanted everything minimalistic and everything simple. So I've gone for like just little lamps and stuff to kind of add some character. We've got these like plants, which again, everything is from Ikea. Um, in here, I don't want any kind of paperwork out and about. So I've got kind of a lot of cabinets and things so I can just shove things in there and it's not the stress of having paperwork lying around everywhere. As I said, I don't like clutter. So yeah, we've got the TV and just like the cabinet area, there's lamps and plants. And then moving on over here, we'll move to the sofa. So this is probably not the best idea for me, but I went for an oatmeal sofa. Obviously, as I said, I wanted to keep everything clean and white and quite plain. Mum and Dad went a bit mad because I spill everything, so I'm having to make sure I don't eat my dinner and no one can drink red, uh, red wine on here because this is going to stain. I did get some coverage with it, so if there is a problem, we have a problem solution, if that's the word. Um, but yeah, the sofa as well, everyone said to me moving into a flat, make sure you get a sofa that's really comfortable because you spend a lot of time here. And everyone so far that's been around and sat on the sofa has said how comfortable it is and how much it makes you feel like home, which is very, very important. And then these coffee tables here, I got these from Amazon for 38 pounds. And I think they look kind of a lot more expensive than that. Um, but again, I didn't want a big coffee table in the middle of the room, just kind of breaking up the room and taking up all the space. Moving on to the breakfast table. Something I've always wanted was like a breakfast table. And uh, do you know when you go around someone's house when it's a really huge house and they have this like big island in the middle of the kitchen? Well, yeah, couldn't quite do that yet with the space I've got. Uh, but I got this from Dwell and it was just something I wanted to break up the kitchen and the living room a little bit. Um, I do like the design, how it's all in one. When I do cook, which very rare, but when I do, I wanted to, if I had friends, to have them in the living room and me in the kitchen so we can still communicate and chat. Um, so yeah, I went for this from Dwell. The stools I actually picked up from Audi for £29 and in Dwell themselves they were 149 and they look exactly the same. So you really can pick up some bargains I think when you're uh, kind of thinking about the furniture for your flat. Moving on into the kitchen, again as I said keeping everything quite simple, didn't want too much out and about, everything's white and green and then I've added in some pine wood as well for that Scandinavian design. All the mugs and everything I've picked up are from Ikea, again the kettle. Um, I really really like this little design that I've gone for up here. These little boxes, again from Ikea. Just to add a little bit of character to the place rather than it being too plain and simple. And I think when I started to add in the green, I think it brought the flat a lot more to life because at first when I moved in, which when I did, I was pulling my hair out because I was actually living on a blow up camping sofa that I bought from eBay. It didn't look the best, but and now I've obviously upgraded to the sofa. Um, and yeah, just like little things, this is the best thing in the world, the Nutribullet. If you haven't got one, you should definitely get one because I don't really like eating veg, so just mash it up in there. And yeah, like again, adding some plants here and the cupboard space as well for me on my own is great. I've got my plates and stuff in there. I've got cups in there. To be honest, there's too much space. In my last place, I had hardly any space and now I'm like, what do I do with it all? And one of the most important things as well for me is I like to eat healthy and have healthy foods. So it's having enough space. Obviously it looks, look, look everything's falling all over the place. I'm trying to make it look clutterous. So I don't even know if that's a word by the way. But I'm trying to make it look packed because there's just so much space for me. Like the drawers, 
I have just got back from holiday, so it is why it's so empty. Um, but yeah, so much space is important. It makes me feel um, a lot more on top of things. And one thing I did fail to show you, which I'll show you quickly before then we move on into another room, is the balcony. For me, I wanted a place where I can come out. I'm going to get some furniture out here as well. I wanted somewhere I can come with a glass of wine or a coffee in the morning, especially as now we're going into summer, and just have somewhere that I can come out with friends and just enjoy some nice views with, as I said, a coffee or a wine. So I'm going to get some furniture here. I've got some great views. The sunset actually comes just over there, but I will show you in the B-roll now what everything looks like. I forgot to mention one of my most favourite things in the flat. I got this rug thinking the rug was bigger than it was, and now I've put it in the living room. It looks like a bath mat on the floor, so I am going to invest on a bigger rug. So if you were laughing at this, don't laugh, it will be upgraded soon. Right, to the B-roll. to the spare bathroom, class out. Not really a bath person, maybe once a month I have a bath. So this is just kind of a very simple room. I've still put a little bit, some bobs in here just to make it look nicer. Probably still not finished it in here, but this is just kind of, I call it the pee room. It's just where when anyone comes round or when I just need a quick pee when I'm watching a film, rather than going into the ensuite, this is where I pop into. Not really much I can say about it. As I said, it's still got a shower in here. It's nice to have two bathrooms if family are coming to stay or friends. But yeah, this is the spare pee room I would class it as. On to the next room. Okay, moving on now to where all the magic doesn't happen for me, the bedroom. So I went for this, I kind of had this good space here where I thought, should I put a wardrobe? You'll see in a minute in the kind of office dressing room that I have far too much space right now. So I wanted to go for this like ottoman just so I could put just some products in there. We even have a penis mug. Everyone has a penis mug from Lanzarote, right? Um, but yeah, like all my fragrances and stuff, just again, so I can put all the clutter away. Um, and yeah, I found this from Ikea, I thought it was really nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit at the end of the bed, so this was kind of the perfect space. And like, when I'm stressed, I can just have a nice sit here and zone in to Carl's fantasy land that I live in sometimes. And look, we have another bath mat. Ikea has sold out of bath mats now because Carl decided to cover his flat in them. Um, but yeah, so moving into the bedroom, I went for one bedside table just because, as I said, where the magic doesn't happen for me, it's just me on my own. I don't need two side tables. And I have this weird thing. I feel like if I'm close to the wall, I feel like if burglars or anyone's going to come in, they don't get me because I'm up against the wall. Don't ask. It's a weird thing in my head. And also, I will show you in a minute, I have a bed that lifts up. I'm definitely getting in there to hide if anyone comes in. I have a hiding place. And if anyone wants to come play hide-and-seek, you're never going to find me under there. Um, so yeah, we run here. Again, quite simple. I've not really worked out what I want with the room yet. Um, there's still like space here where I've just got, at the minute, a washing basket. Is it a washing basket? I think it's a washing basket. Yeah, where you put your wash in. <laughs> this is what it's called when you grow up and you have to learn about washing baskets because you have to do your own washing. Um, but here as well, this is where I get my weights in for the day. So this lifts up, this is again from Ikea, um, an amazing space to put everything because I feel like when your bed's there, it's taking up so much of your space. So when you get something like this, you still have all of that area below the bed where you can just put, for me, I have a shoe obsession. So all of my other shoes that I don't always wear and just lighting equipment for my filming and products that I've not yet gotten to use in. So yeah, a really, really great space to use and use in the room kind of efficiently. 
And then moving on to the ensuite, I feel like already being here in such kind of like a short time, I've got my routine of going from the bed, having a shower, then wandering naked, because now I live alone, I can walk around naked, to the uh, office and dressing room. Um, but again, kind of using just space that was just wasted here with the shelving unit. I obviously have an obsession with, these are all fake, I do not have time to water plants. So, they're all fake plants. Um, this is products, so I can do my face masks and stuff at night. That is just like a tiny collection of fragrances I have, but what I'm using right now. And yeah, just I'll show you now in the B-roll, kind of all the little bits and bobs that I've put in here, but very simple again. I love how bright it is in the room. And one thing I forgot to show you in the living room, I have Google Home around the whole flat. So when I say, hey Google, turn on bedroom lights. If you look over there right now, you'll see the lights are on. So I have that, and then I also have that in the living room, in the kitchen, and then it plays my Spotify throughout the house. So I just can't be bothered to be turning on light switches. Like, who wants to get in bed and watch TV and then be like, oh, I've got to get out of bed now to switch a switch? No one. Get Philips Hue, that's the lighting system, and Google Home. It'll do you a trick, trust me. Right. Here's the B-roll. my favorite room. I feel like I'm in Sex in the City slash Pretty Woman because this is my dressing room and my office. Yes, dressing room. Since I was a kid, all I've ever had is the smallest bedroom. My brother always had the biggest one. Then I went and lived with friends in London. They had the biggest room. So now this is all mine. As I said, I can walk in from the bedroom to here, naked. I can sit on my chair and work, naked. It's amazing. But So this is my office and dressing room. There's so much space, as you can see, because this is also where I'm going to be filming most of my YouTube videos. So I wanted space that I could work with. My ring light, the one that you saw earlier that I smashed when I tried to do it on my own. See, I've got loads of space and I still smash things. Um, but I'm going to show you my wardrobes. Quickly, I'll just show you like two of them and then I'll show you the rest in the little clip afterwards. Um, but, oh, little hoodie, <laughs> trying to keep them clean for you. Um, but there's so much space. I've got obviously far too many sunglasses. Um, all my gym stuff's down there, my trousers are in here, and then, if I can show you, in this middle part, there's just so much space, which, it just makes me feel so much better, um, because my clothes aren't all clogged into somewhere, like there's still space for me to put all my coats, and then I'll show you in a minute, I've got all my jumpers, my hoodies, my polos, my jeans, my shirts, as I said, this is very tidy right now. I don't know how long this is going to last, but um, yeah, it is great. And then moving around here, this is where my little office is going to be, where I'm going to film stuff. So I can just come and sit. And again, this is where I do, I like somewhere I can come and do like my face makeup and my hair and stuff. So I come and just sit here in the mornings after my shower. Got my mirror there. I hate dust, need to get a cleaner. Put that on the checklist of things to do. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice to have, in my old place, I was working in my bedroom, I was watching TV in my bedroom, everything was just in quite a small space. And now just having this whole flat to myself, it's nice to separate the difference of working in here, coming to get ready in here, my bedroom's to sleep, and then the living room area and the kitchen area is where I kind of like just chill out for the evening and have me time. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just been an amazing experience kind of moving in, furnishing things. It's really kind of taught me how to grow up. Um, it's very stressful moving, trust me. My parents and my family were just amazing helping me. But yeah, I'm going to show you my office and the rest of the bits and bobs now. Last of all, 
we've got the hallway, which I think is a really good space. Everyone thinks the flat is quite big because of how split up everything is, which is great. Again, using space up, shoe rack. I don't know how long this is going to stay because my feet do smell. So when I'm wearing these, it might smell the whole flat out. So we shall see how long this stays here for. But um, so far, everyone that's come around has said they really like kind of having this in here. It adds a bit of character. Great storage space as well. Something I really needed because I have loads of bits and bobs that I just wanted to really put out of the way. I've got my new Dyson uh, Hoover in here. I have a steamer that I haven't even taken out the box yet because I hate ironing and I don't even like steaming either. So it's probably gonna sit in the box for the rest of the time I live here for. But yeah, really great space here. And um, yeah, I'm not 100% finished with the flat yet. I think that living in a flat is best, everyone told me, to, to live here and work out things that I need and things that I want to change. So this is very quite simple at the minute. Still got bits to do to it, more plants to get. I need a table in the hallway. I want another cabinet in the living room where there's a big bit of space. So still loads to do, but I think that is the exciting part, is making it my own. But guys, you've had enough of my time now. I think that it's time for you guys to get out. And don't forget to let me know in the comments box below what you think to the flat. Also, if you did like the video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you are a new person watching, you're lucky that you got to see my flat for the first time you saw me. So thank you, and please do go and subscribe. And guys, I'll be seeing you on my next video. Now get out. Hey Google, turn off music!